I remember the day we toured the Music Man factory in San Luis Obispo, California. The Ball Brothers insisted that we feel the bass and guitar necks coming off the line so that we could appreciate the woodwork, appreciate the feel of the wood, appreciate the smooth quality. And anyone who's played one of the Joe Dart one or two basses will appreciate the feel of that instrument in their hands. Uh, we've always, from day one, had a philosophy uh, that there's a power in simplicity. We've always sought to build a trilogy of basses that represent the Wolfpack recorded catalog. The Joe Dart one and two basses in the styles of the vintage disco records that I've loved for my whole life. Music Man Stingray basses, Fender Jazz basses. But when Jack would ask me for a vintage, unadorned, raw, unmuted P bass sound, a la Chuck Rainey in the late 60s and early 70s, we would reach for a Fender P bass junior. But we knew that that instrument needed to be perfected, and we knew that the simple quality of one pickup and one volume knob with an ash body, a smooth maple neck, built right in California by Ernie Ball Music Man, would be the perfect way to round out the Joe Dart stable of instruments. We're proud to offer a limited run of the Joe Dart 3, 50 instruments, each with a number engraved on the back, and each bass is a testament to our philosophy of simplicity, stripping away anything extra and leaving the tone and the feel in the hands and the fingers of the player. I've been playing this thing every day since they shipped me Model Zero. I'm looking forward to seeing this thing out in the world. I think you'll find, like I do, it just feels good. Thank <laughs> you.